Hey guys, I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thank you for tuning in. We're saving the world one trailer at a time. Today, we're gonna look at a 2020 Grand Design Reflection, model number 297 RSTS. This is from the second half of 2020, so it has the new upgrades like the white exterior, black finishes, the new pebbled interior. We're gonna get to all that. Uh, let's, uh, let's start here at the outside though. Right away, we got ourselves a power front jack, two 30 pound per paint tanks, and then a battery in a box down below in here that the Lazy Acres is gonna provide. This is a beautiful molded, solid front cap, kind of like a fifth wheel application. Uh, the black portion of this cap is actually painted, so it's not gonna fade or uh, you know uh, oxidize on you over time. The cap itself wraps right around the fiberglass wall, giving a really nice positive seal. Uh, really good for towing down the road with all the road dirt and, and water whipping up into the trailer. We've got ourselves a pass-through storage right through here. It's lit up here, one light on this side, one light on that side. Here's our uh, our water heater, not water heater, our, uh, I guess our convenience center where we have the sewer, uh, gate valves, the city water connection, the fresh water fill, the black water flush, winterized sanitize. You uh, have uh, the water pump switch here, outside shower, outside receptacle, cable and satellite inlet, all nicely done and clean and kept warm in here. Magnets are holding these doors up, so that's always a nice thing. And then these are metal slam latches. They just slam down. The overall weight on this one is 82.28 on this particular one. Uh, we've got electric jacks on all four corners. We've got a spot here to store our sewer hose. We have a six gallon gas electric water heater, 50 amp service here in this model. And then down below is where our sewer discharge is. Good looking aluminum rims here, nitro fill. And then we have a, uh, a furnace vent right here as well. This is the main slide of the trailer, pulling the couch and the dinette off the floor. There's also a secondary slide, the kitchen slide on the other side. These electric jacks, they do have a manual override, so if you ever run into trouble with that, you can bring them up and down manually. Uh, you have a rear hitch receiver right here, a cold water exit, just like a, kind of like a spray port, they call that. And then there is a backup, la a backup ladder, a back ladder here, so you can get up on the roof, check your seals. You also got to get up on the roof and sweep off your slide, just in case there's any debris on there. And then at the top there, you have a... Uh, a backup camera prep ready to go for a fury on camera. Our awning starts right here, right in front of this slide, and goes all the way over top of the slide, <coughs> and ends right about here. So it gives you some good awning space. I understand you lose some of the, of the space with that uh, secondary slide, but it is does still come over about six feet past that. You have two burner stove top here, and then a two cubic foot fridge. That's our outside fridge vent, fridge vent, and then outside speakers as well as a spot here put a secondary, uh, or I guess an outside TV. This closes up nicely. Come down here, you'll see our, our uh, aluminum trans steps, really nice and solid, and then a lend a hand grab handle here, making it nice and easy to get into the trailer. And then just the other side of our pass-through storage. You notice it's wider here on this side because uh, it's not uh, uh, interfered with, with the plumbing convenience center. Awesome guys, that was the outside. Let's look inside. Hey guys, we're inside the bedroom of that 297 RSTS. You're looking across our queen bed. That's the first thing I want to point out. It's a full size queen with all the grand design products. So it's 60 inches wide, 80 inches long. We've got a good little shelf there with a couple reading lights. There's also receptacles on both sides of that shelf. And then we have hanging here on this side, hanging on that side. And then open cupboards here that are closed off with cupboards and doors above that. Right here is our bonus though. We have a Additional closet. We do not see this every day. Uh, hanging, hanging stuff up there. Uh, receptacles there, and then a shelf in here as well. This is also our washer dryer prep. So, oh man, the camera's going the extra mile. This is our washer dryer prep. So you have a combination unit in here, uh, which is our fittings down below there. And then there is a drawer here and a drawer there. Great pocket door separating the. Uh, the, the bedroom here from the rest of the trailer, which is a good feature, good good use of space. Uh, we walk here into the washroom. First thing you notice, we have stainless steel sink, a lot of counter space here, and then three drawers below the counter space with one cupboard here on this side. Good medicine cabinet. All right. And then as I back into the shower, you'll see it's got a shower glass door that just rotates across. Lots of elbow space, shoulder space, head space in here. Porcelain toilet down below, and then some more storage in through here as well. 
Great. Now, as we head back, you will notice, you know, two slides, right? Pulling everything off the floor. We got ourselves a freestanding table and chairs. This is a little bit different than what they were doing in 2019. We got two chairs and then an ottoman. This ottoman is movable. So a lot of people will pull this out, set it over here, and then have a chair on either side. Uh, but you can kind of mess around with that how you want. Uh, we've got lights here in the slide. Lots of big windows. It's probably messing with the camera right now. Um, we've got, hang on a second here. Oh, this is, got the string here. This is new for 2020 as well, is these roller shades. So they're just a lot easier to use than those pleated ones. Uh, maybe a lot more reliable, more reliable as well. They're not gonna start to fall down over time. Theater seats are right here, heat massage. There is a fancy pantsy light there too. Facing the TV, of course. Trifold sofa right here. That's gonna come out to about here. But notice it doesn't really restrict anything. It's not like if this is out and someone's sleeping here, it's gonna stop you from using any other part of the trailer. Window, window, window. Cupboard, cupboards. These are raised panels, but they're reverse raised panels, so they're still nice and solid doors. All right. Cool beans. Our TV's over here, like I said, across from our theater seats. Fireplace is down below. A couple more cupboards here. Okay. TV, like I said, storage, DVD player behind this one, and then some more storage here. Uh, eight cubic foot gas electric fridge. I like these new handles they're using, right? You just grab the the world, pushing something in, pulling at the same time. Good amount of counter space here. Storage, nice wide drawer here. A couple more cupboards here above the counter. This is all solid surface stuff, so legitimate cabinetry or sort of countertop. Furion oven, 27 inch oven. And I believe this is a convection microwave it is. Awesome. Now, as you spin here to the island, the island itself is, you know, obviously really functional, good use of space, uh, really nice countertops. Again, really thick countertops. Uh, we have a stainless steel sink below, one sink, pull down faucet, three drawers here. Okay, and then some bigger cupboards here below. Oops. All right, gate spot for garbage can or some random big items. Now, one thing I think lost over was this hutch here. So as you walk in the trailer, basically this hutch is one of the first things you see. A couple of drawers here below, more counter space. Uh, there's plugs up in here, so you can plug like an appliance in here, leave that in, and then some good space here, plates and dishes and whatnot. Awesome guys, so that was the 2020 Reflection 297 RSTS. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please push the like button, it helps us out. Also subscribe, because we're gonna keep on putting out videos every day, I don't want you to miss them. Our email here is sales at lazyacres.com or our phone number is 705-833-2539. Thanks guys, have a good day.